One of the primary local concerns is the status of Somerville as a sanctuary city. In 2014, Mayor Curtitoni issued an executive order known as the Trust Act. This protects immigrants with clean criminal records from potential deportation. President-elect Donald Trump has threatened to cut federal funding to sanctuary cities across the nation. In Somerville, this funding accounts for approximately 3% of the citywide budget. Mayor Curtitoni, however, remains true to his vow to protect Somerville's immigrant population. In a recent interview for Scout Somerville, Mayor Curtitoni stated, we are a community that espouses the values of civility, compassion, humanity, and tolerance. We are going to double down on those values. I will say to all immigrants that we stand with them. In addition to the city's support, there are many local organizations that support immigrants and advocate for their voices to be heard. Tonight, we talked to Ben Echevarria, the executive director of The Welcome Project, a local nonprofit whose mission is to build the collective power of Somerville immigrants to participate in and shape community decisions. My name is Ben Echevarria, and I am the executive director over here at The Welcome Project. The Welcome Project is a 26-year-old organization uh, founded here in the Mystic Housing Development. We were founded basically because of a court order of forced integration of refugees and everyone into the housing developments and we saw hostility. So there were a bunch of different service providers that were helping and they realized that they needed a coordinating body to help figure out what services are needed, what services are being provided. And we slowly started to work. Um, we started off as just a coordinating body. Then we became much more formal. We became incorporated, became a, a nonprofit. And in that time period, we've uh, become a immigrant group where we help do immigrant advocacy. We provide programs. And the way I like to look at it is we build the collective power of um, immigrants in the city of Somerville to help them shape community decisions. And, you know, we do it through trying to break down barriers. Um, we have in our adult programs, we have ESOL, so um, where we teach English to people who do not speak English. Um, that's our largest program. And we also will teach them within that skills that they need to survive here. So for instance, with um, last year or the last few years, people seeing issues in housing. And we would hear a lot of reports of, you know, my house was just sold, I have a new landlord and he's saying I need to leave or he wants to raise my rent $400 and you know we discovered okay you know yes we can give that specific person the answer do you have a lease and that type of stuff or we can teach a class part of a theme within our classes teaching them their rights and bringing in groups that work on these things because the other side is you want to empower people so instead of them coming to me and asking that question, they know who are the resources that deal with housing. We also run youth programs, and again, we're looking at barriers. So what we do is we take bilingual youth, we train them in interpretation, and then we put them in the community to help interpret for people. Um, again, the goal is so that they can help shape community decisions, and the best way is by making sure that people's voices are heard. And, you know, so if they don't speak English, will help them provide some sort of translation service so that they can do that. We also provide homework help. Kids from one through eight on Monday and Wednesdays, they can come in after school to drop off. We will help them with homework. We also will help them with some reading skills to drop off service that's open to anyone. They can come, you know, they literally just come in. We have a small room that people, you know, that they go off to with some volunteers and, you know, some tough students and others who will help them with their homework. We run a summer camp, and uh, the summer camp is a two-week program um, where we teach youth uh, digital storytelling. Our adult programs are uh, primarily English classes, but we use English to help teach skills. So for instance, we have a computer class right now where we're teaching immigrant adults how to use a computer. Um, every year we run different programs on top of our English classes, so we'll do things like our Last year we did English for Citizenship where we worked specifically on the question part of you know, the uh, citizenship process. We have our English for Parents class which we work with the uh, school system and it's taught in the school system and basically what it is is immigrant parents can not just learn English but they learn English 
to help their child. It's, it's about empowering them. It's not about, you know, having them always come in here and us dictate, oh yeah, you know, this is who. No, I mean, of course, if people need help, we're always here to help. But it's much more powerful and impactful when people can do it on their own. So we always try to give them the skills and the knowledge to be able to do that. I always see ourselves in some ways as cultural brokers because people come from other countries and there's a different system in different countries or even different neighborhoods. So part of our role is we explain how things work here and try to help immigrants overcome some of these pieces and also try to work with uh, people from here and teach them how can they bridge the cultural divide so that they can so that we can meet somewhere in the middle. When I see someone succeed, when I see one of my youth who at first was not thinking about college, now all of a sudden talking about college and going to college, that's what drives me. And when I see, you know, some of our adult parents talking about, you know, they're now taking classes at Bunker Hill, that's what drives me is is making sure that people regardless of the color of their skin regardless of, 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 of their status here, are able to succeed. If you want to be a good active member of this community, we don't care what your documentation status is. So it's not about your status here in Somerville, and that's the message we're pushing and trying to remind people, you know, come out to your classes, continue to strive for your success, you know, and we will work with you. If you're interested in getting involved with the Welcome Project as either a participant or a volunteer, please call 617-623-6633 or email welcome at welcomeproject.org. <laughs>